What's cracking with your snack and snacker stars? It's me, me, the BRE, the man in the backwards hat. Brandon from the SAS the Snack Food Appreciation Society is back on Friday, June the 3rd, 2016 for this edition of Pizza Night on the Road. And the road has taken us to CC's. Why? I'm certainly not eating the buffet. We'll find out more about that and more right after this on Pizza Night on the Road. You are looking live at CC's Pizza Buffet in the Bailey's Crossroads Shopping Center in the Bailey's Crossroads section of Falls Church, Virginia. P CC's, of course, is known for their buffet pizza, but of course, they also have carryout and they've got two brand new types for us to try out today on Pizza Night. Bailey's Crossroads Shopping Center has a lot of different things in it. I've reviewed very many things. There's a Burlington Coat Factory, Advanced Auto Parts, TJ Maxx over in the corner. You've got, uh, what is that? Great American Buffet. There's another buffet over there as well as a Giant Food, which is a huge, as you would tell by the name, shopping, or rather grocery store. And also, uh, recently opened behind us over there, you can't really see it, is a Longhorn Steakhouse. Today I am at CC's for a reason, and that reason is to try two brand new pizzas. They actually have three types of this pizza, but I've already reviewed one before. Inside box number one, with their brand new kind of upscale design, is... The brand new bacon stuffed crust pizza. Now this thing comes completely unadorned, so to speak, uh, when you get it originally. Uh, so I decided to go ahead and he said, hey, yeah, man, let's go ahead and put pepperoni on there. But apparently they do put bacon on this pizza as well. I was not aware of that, but hey, bacon and pepperoni is not a bad thing. But apparently you got cheddar and mozzarella cheeses on the top. And you've got cheese baked into the crust as well. $7.99 for this pizza. They typically will charge you a dollar more per topping, but they did not charge me that dollar per topping in this case. So happy birthday to me, even though it's not my birthday, right? All right, there's no real 420 slice here, but this little corner piece here seems to want to talk to us. So let's pick him up and show him to us. Nice thick crust. There's the hole where the cheese is supposed to be, and yeah, you can see some bacon in there, man. That's pretty exciting. Look at the peps on there. They're looking good. A little browning on the cheese. Smells pretty good, too. For $7.99, I'd say that's a pretty good deal. All right, let me go ahead and uh, close this one up. All right, and let's open up this bad boy. Show that one to you. This one is a pretzel crust. A pretzel stuffed crust, rather. And... Uh, as you can see, it's got salt along the outside, although it's very, very haphazardly strewn. I did once again order pepperoni on this one and was not charged for the topping. So $7.99 for this bad boy as well. This has standard mozzarella cheese as well as macaroni and cheese sauce in it as well inside this area here, as they do have a macaroni and cheese pizza, which you may have seen uh, me review and also you may have seen my segment on a watchmojo.com uh, uh, video pretty recently where they highlighted one of my reviews on the macaroni and cheese pizza. Anyway, uh, this one doesn't have quite the easy going 420 slice, which is not a 420 slice because it's not a round pizza like a clock. But we'll pick this one up. Nice stretch to the cheese. Bring it in closely. Yep, a lot of salt clumping up right there. Yeah, they didn't really even that out too well closed on that and let's take a look over here yep there's a hole for cheese there it looks like most of the cheese has melted down in there though so not a huge like elio's you know uh cheese stick hanging out back there all right guys i'll be right back to uh shove these pizzas in my mouth taste them tell you what i think about them and more on pizza night on the road all right, gang, I am back to take a try out of these two brand new stuffed crust pizzas from CC's Pizza, 
we got the pretzel stuffed crust, we got the bacon stuffed crust, and we couldn't have done any of it without SAS Snacker Star. Big Al G, thanks so much, Al, for letting us know about this pizza. I know you're going to check it out when you're doing your carb load and your protein load after your big workout, big man. All right, let me go ahead now then. I'm gonna try the pretzel first because that's what I've got on top right now after showing it to you in the point of chew segment there. And uh, I'm gonna pick up that same corner piece that I had because it makes it nice and convenient to do so. And I'm all about convenience, guys. Show it to you next to my noggin the way I always do. These, of course, are not very large slices of pizza, mind you, uh, but for $7.99 each, I think I got a pretty decent deal, right? All right, well, we'll go ahead and take a bite of the front. That's not all that important. We'll get to the back right after that. All right, gang, I'm liking the way that tastes so far. Let me go ahead and uh, take a bite of this backside and see if some cheese comes out for us. I need one more bite because this isn't tasting all that pretzely to me, I'll tell you that. All right, gang, I do like that a lot. Now, CC's has absolutely improved a lot of their toppings over time. The pepperoni's better than it used to be. The cheese is actually really good. I like the way that it stretched and it had a very good pizzeria flavor. And then you add that under layer of uh, macaroni and cheese sauce, man, and that was pretty good, you know? I didn't really miss the tomato sauce in that aspect. And I usually do like a little tomato sauce on my pizza, but in this aspect, it didn't need it. Now. The weakness here is the quote-unquote pretzel crust. Uh, I didn't notice any kind of buttery glaze or anything on the back of the pizza. And that's where a lot of these other places that have pretzel crusts will actually get their pretzel flavor from. It's not like it's pretzel dough. It's just, you know, dough that they put this pretzel flavored butter on and then sprinkle salt on. Well, in this case, I don't think they put anything like that on here. And if they did, it kind of missed the mark on the flavor. It doesn't really taste like pretzel too much, gang. But the salt makes up for it and kind of tricks your mind into making you think you got pretzel going on there. So, all of that put together, the good pepperoni, which tastes good, it's not the best in the world, but it tastes better than it used to. The good cheese, that macaroni and cheese sauce, the crust, relatively basic beyond the stuffed crust portion. And then the cheese in the back was not uh, totally melted. It still had sort of a congealed sort of uh, quality to it. That made it a pretty good texture. Tasted like a good mild mozzarella. That was pretty good. But, like I said, not a lot of pretzel flavor going on, but the salt made up for it a little bit. If this had pretzel flavor, guys, we'd be looking at a 100% thumbs up pizza. But we do not. So I'm going to go ahead and give this bad boy a three quarters thumbs up just because it really doesn't taste that much like pretzel. Maybe I'll come again sometime and they'll do it and it'll taste like pretzel, but this time it didn't. So all that said, three quarters thumbs up for the pretzel stuffed crust pizza, brand new from CC's Buffet. All right, so let me go ahead and try this bacon stuffed crust pizza, man. They're really trying to ride on all the different coattails of all the different pizza trends that have been going on the last couple of years at your Little Caesars, at your Pizza Hut and places like that. If I'm leaving anywhere out, sorry about that. I'll go ahead and grab that piece again that it kind of liberated itself from the rest of the pack. Show it to you next to my noggin the way I always do. Again, not that big of a piece of a pizza, but for $7.99, a pretty good deal. Show it to you a little bit more closely there. There you go. Pepperonis are on there. You got little hunks of bacon on there. I think this is going to turn out all right. Let me go ahead and uh, take a bite of this, shall I? All right, let me go ahead and take a bite of this backside and see how much bacon is in here and exactly what's going on. All right, gang, I am back. I just realized that this one doesn't have any tomato sauce on it either. Uh, I think it could actually use it. It really, uh, as you can see, it's a very thick crust, reminiscent of their uh, standard uh, deep dish pizza. And uh, very doughy, but it ends up being a bit dry because of that. The cheese itself is really good on the top. And, of course, the pepperoni, which I already covered, is pretty good. The bacon itself has a very, very Hormel flavor to it. I don't know if you see where I'm coming from there, but that means it's eh. Um, other than that, then you get into the back end there. Take a look inside there. Yep, there is bacon inside that crust. There's cheddar cheese inside that crust. There's all kinds of things going on inside that crust. And that's the highlight of the pie, baby. 
uh, you know, this is actually going to save this thing from like a half of a thumb up rating. And I'm going to go ahead and give it, just like the other one, a three-quarter thumb up. The uh, crust is just a little bit too dry without the addition of that macaroni and cheese sauce or tomato sauce of any kind. Just comes off dry. The bacon could be better, could be crispier. Uh, it's a little bit chewy and it's got that Hormel flavor like I was saying. So, eh, okay. But there's a lot going on in the back in terms of cheese. And when you put cheese and bacon together, no matter what quality the bacon is, you're usually going to have a pretty good time with it. Uh, all in all, like I said, yeah, three quarters thumbs up for the bacon stuffed crust pizza from CC's. So three quarters thumbs up for both of them. Pretty good deal, $7.99 each. Come out to your local CC's if you have one. Grab one of these, grab both of these, grab that other stuffed crust if you haven't had it too. Or hey, sit down uh, at the buffet and have a little bit of everything. Go a little bit wild. Get a little bit inspired if you know what I'm saying and get your money's worth while you're at it. All right, guys, you know where you also get your money's worth is with the SAS group on Facebook with hundreds of the coolest people in the world in our group, and you should be too. Why aren't you? Also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Brandon Reich SAS. Every time you're on the social media and you're talking about snacks and you're talking about things that you may want me to see, and if you want to know what I'm talking about, just use the hashtag Snack Society, just like my hat says, and all day, every day, you will see everything that the SAS is doing, and you'll let us know what you're doing, what you're eating, what you're going to eat, what you want to eat, and everything else. Thanks for watching, guys. Had a great meeting this week with the people of Jerry Subs and Pizza. Amazing things happening in the future with the SAS the Snack Food Appreciation Society, the SAS Snacks YouTube channel, the uh, group on Facebook, and everywhere else. Thanks for watching this episode. In the meantime, in between time, stay tuned for Breakfast Lifestyles. Like, favorite, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.